How you doing everybody? I'm artist Brian Sheffield. Welcome back. It's good to have you with me today. I'm going to do another piece of acoustic guitar spray paint art for you today. I had a request from somebody and uh, this is Margaritaville. What you had on the other side, I'll show it to you. This is Margaritaville and this is the finished painting. And uh, he requested a little bit of green on that tree there. So uh, I'll put that in there for him. And uh, so now they he wanted a, a a nighttime scene on the back. So we're gonna do a little bit of a nighttime scene there for you. And uh we're gonna start off with just a touch of white and some blue. And just a little bit of black. And uh we're gonna do a straight left on it because it's a moon. We're not uh doing a Jupiter or anything. I'm just doing a little moon. Do something like that. And uh, make sure you set this uh make sure you set this cap just right. And now this is all the way on there folks so it's gonna be really hard to uh, get it just right. But like you've all seen before I, uh, I'll show you how to fix it if uh, we make a mistake, so it's okay. Hopefully we won't make one. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Now I like to bam, bam my stars, so there's your stars, everybody. And I'm gonna come back and touch that up with just a little bit more black. I know I probably should do it another way. But that's okay. Kinda like the way it all works out. Alright, we're not gonna do any special effects or anything on this, so it's gonna lift that up and we'll get it off to the side there. And uh you see it's not really all that bright. We didn't want it that bright, and that's okay because it's nighttime scene. But you do a little glow around it just like that. A little quick little pow, you know, and uh it'll uh that white'll settle in there. So it's okay. But uh we wanna come in with some mountains and uh get a little glow going on. And, uh, they wanted that, specifically they wanted a scene with some deer in it and I've got a stencil of a deer head cut out that I'm going to do at the end for anybody that likes to go deer hunting I like some pretty good deer it's, it's, it's pretty good meat and uh, beautiful animals you know uh, I don't have any problem with going hunting as long as you aren't killing for the pleasure. But you're killing for the meat. And, uh, you know, see what it is you can do against nature. I suppose that's an okay thing. Anyway, we're going to spray some white out here and go to our script liner. You know how much I like that script liner. And, uh, we we'll line these mountains out. Remember, we're just now getting paint in our brush, so. It'll get a little different as it goes. And I kind of line this out along that edge there. You can leave some of that stuff up there and make it part of the sky. Be like right wherever it is that you lay this line at. That's where the edge is going to be. I hope the person that wants this is happy with it because they, they said they wanted to be here, but they're taking a little longer than expected, so I want to go ahead and work on it and 
get this video out there for everybody so they could watch it if they wanted to. Anyway, I'll get the person maybe to leave a comment there on YouTube and see how they liked it. And, uh, because they were here in the apartment and they were really liking what I was doing, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. Oh, bumped the camera. Did you see that, everybody? I just bumped the crap out of that camera. That's all right. Anyway, let's keep going here. And, uh, I really liked that, uh, I really enjoyed that Misty Mountain thing we had going on. So I'm going to kind of continue along with that and go there on this side and then uh, hit this white coming up this way and uh, this dark blue this black a little bit and uh, you don't want to be too quick about lifting this paint but you don't want to be too slow about it either because depends on what the temperature of the air is and how that's affecting out and how how all that's coming out. But this is the larger piece of the guitar here, so I'm gonna do two layers here and just leave one layer over there and uh, kind of work with the geometry that we got going on here. And uh, I don't want to overpower on one side and then leave the same. I kind of go want to go with what the geometry of the frame is. And that's why I'm only doing one on one side and two on the other. Because I want them to come together with how big it is. It's bigger here and smaller here. So you have to have one layer here and then two down here to kind of complete the image. And I'm really not liking the way that moon's turning out. You don't see it's looking kind of funny, people. I might come back and do something with that. Say, like, look, look how funny it is right around in there. That's crazy. And we're going to come off with our white one more time. And our blue. And our black, of course. And so you want to let that dry just a little bit. So it gets tacky. Then you can come in here and do all kind of crazy stuff with it. Uh, if air temperature is a factor for you, like if you live in a colder environment, and uh, you really can't get the temperature up, say, past 75 degrees, just remember that uh, airflow can make up for temperature a little bit. It won't make up for it all the way but you can adjust airflow to make up for temperature if you need to. So that way you can continue to create throughout the winter time. If you can get the room to, up to at least 70 degrees, you can kind of increase the airflow. And uh, it'll help your paint some if you want to continue to create like I do. But I live here on the Gulf Coast, and there's a lot of days when it's 85 degrees in the middle of January. And that's just the way it works. Depends on where you live and where you are, I reckon. Well, I kind of like it here. It's a nice place to live. Mobile's a home of Mardi Gras. Been here a long time, all my days. Pretty little BS right there. We all know what that stands for, don't we? Bull stuff! That's right. That's right. Let me just lay this cap back down in there and kind of brighten that up a little bit. I really don't like the way it looks. 
so we're going to put a little glow around it just like that and come up with it and it'll be a little bit different you can see it's kind of messed up around that edge so like I said we've done showed you how to come back and fix that edge just like this since this is the only thing I've got in the sky, I want that edge to be clean. The edge doesn't have to be perfect, and it doesn't have to be a perfect shape either. As long as it's pretty close and pretty much, you can kind of blend this and make it undiscernible to the eye can use the trick of color blend to hide any imperfections and shape just like that and it'll kind of hide any mistakes that you got in there you know just from uh anyway I just rinsed my script liner back out to get that color out of there because I'm fixing to come back in with some black and mix it in with some white Spread it black and white right next to each other. Uh oh. Piece jumped out. You see that? Bam! Make it look like a space nebula. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. And uh, come back in with this black draw you out a tree trunk just like we did before and some other paintings but I'm gonna work a little bit quicker because I'm not having to explain as much on the trees because I already explained that so I'm gonna work really fast Flat come off and whenever I was doing that and it looks pretty cool actually. So I had to kind of tap it down there to make it look like something. Anyway, you come in there like that. And then on my on my cardboard here you want to spray some green and white, just like we did to do the foliage in that last painting. And then you come in here and you tap that out. And use as much paint as you need. Keep coming in with that green and white mixed together. like that and uh, you go back to your black and you come in from this side I have to lay some more black so I'm keep on Anyway, you lay out something like that. And you come in with this white again and this green. And you lay out some branches. I mean, uh, some foliage. Just like this.
layouts and folds just like that. Tap that back down. Then you go get this. And there's one thing that I've got to do. I really am not crazy about it. Uh, it scares the crap out of me. But uh, I've got to seal this paint before I go to my last and final step. I've got to use fire, people. Not something I wanted to do, but there you go. And uh, <clears throat> I've got my final step that I'm doing. Well, no way. I've got two, two things that I've got to do. Then I've got to uh, dry that for a second. Do that. And then I uh, have to come in with this stencil. We're calling this the deer hunter. Because it's what he wants. Because it's what my customer wanted. And uh, there you go, they have the image of the deer. Y'all have a good one.